All right, um, apparently Matthew Stafford is being ranked as the number six quarterback in the NFL. Let's talk about it. Check out the Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Share the video. Appreciate the love and support, it says. It appears I'm reading from AllLionSI.com. Uh, he said, it appears, though, the perception actually is that Matthew Stafford was held back by the Detroit Lions organization. A recent ESPN poll of 50 coaches, league scouts, and executives from former Detroit Lions uh, front. Former Detroit Lions signal caller Matthew Stafford was finally ranked inside the top 10 in the National Football League quarterback. Him going to L.A. with Sean McVay, that offense would be great for already already massive massive abilities. A veteran quarterback, uh, a veteran quarterback, NFL quarterback said ESPN. This would be a deciding factor on who he is. Without star Kenny Galladay, who missed the majority of 2020 season with injuries, Stafford had a solid 2020 securing 26 touchdowns and 10 interceptions as the Lions went 5-11 and Patricia's final season in Motown. That's a man in Motown. According to NFL writer Jeremy Fowler, quote, what can't be debated, Stafford has always been an aerial threat in the Calvin Johnson era for the Lions played 16-220. Stafford averaged 265.7 passing yards per game. Eight for money NFL quarterbacks with at least 50 games played with Johnson as a receiving target in 2019-15. to 15. 2019-15, Stafford averaged two seconds. Okay, they talking about him throwing the ball. Okay. That's cool, all right? They talking about him throwing the ball and, you know, being good at, you know, throwing the ball. People know, even with fucking Calvin Johnson, a lot of that came in garbage time, okay? When the game is on the line, this this dude's an idiot. I mean, when the game is in, in reach, this dude is an idiot. That's what people don't want to, want to tell you. This dude is an absolute idiot when the game is on the line, you know, when it was in reach. He'll throw picks, and people say, well, he didn't have this, he didn't have We'll see. Because last year... He's an upgrade from uh from what's the boy Jared Goff. I agree with that. But you know, when it comes time to win, he just ain't that guy. When you look at the LA LA Rams uh rushing attack, is it that good? If Cam Akers don't stay healthy. Hold on. Uh if, if he don't stay healthy, any trouble. You know. So I don't know, man, because last year they, they didn't wasn't able to run the ball. You know, uh they weren't able to run the ball. And that and that became an issue for Jerry Goff. And you see where they ranked as far as rushing the football last year. Um they ranked bottom half of the league, bro. So they ranked one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25th in the league. We ranked 20th in the league. They ranked 25th in the league at, at rushing the football. Oh, excuse me. That's passing. My bad. As far as uh, rushing the football, ain't no fucking difference. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. They worked 24th when we ranked 19 in, in the league. So, like I said before, man, they weren't able to run that ball last year. And that was the big problem. And Sean McVay offense, man. I'm, do you really want Stafford bootlegging every other fucking play? <laughs> you know, a dude that been injured constantly. And we talking, I mean, that's just a that's just a question. And maybe, you know, with a with a with a with a with a better quarterback, maybe Sean McVay, we'll see some things with him spreading the ball out and shotgun more. We see we see some different things. I think Stafford will enable him to have a different game plan. But with Jerry Goff, with the backup quarterback who's pretty good over there, they run they run the same offense. That's run the ball, run the ball, get get on play action. Everything is about play action. I think the same thing with Kyle Shanahan. They love Stafford's ability to throw play action. And maybe limiting Stafford to to play action to being a glorified game manager that may work. And they probably think, well, you know, if we do get behind Stafford, can spread out, throw the ball around. The only reason Stafford is good in late game is because he he's a stat pattern. When ain't no pressure on him, he becomes you know the man. But if you talking about you know y'all ain't gonna have a run game, y'all gonna have a run game y'all had last year. You gonna have a problem. Y'all don't have an offensive line. You know, you know that's another issue. So y'all can't pass protect, and then y'all can't y'all can't run the ball. That's that's a that's a fucking recipe for 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 a disaster. That's a recipe for a disaster. You can't y'all can't do that. You know, and, and that's just my humble opinion. That's my humble opinion. So you just start to think, you know, it may work. But their defense may bail them out. Remember, they lack depth. They they are star power heavy. You look at the offense, who scare you? 
If Cam Akers ain't healthy, it's a problem. You know, Cooper Cup is good in the slot. You know, Robert Woods getting old. They added old ass to Sean Jackson, who's been injured the last couple of years. They got some good tight ends, but they underutilized. So, I mean, I mean, who else do? I mean, Aaron Donald, Jalen Ramsey. They got some good defense over there, but, you know, Aaron Rodgers exposed that defense. They're in Donald heavy, uh, healthy or not. So, really, the most important player still over there is Aaron Donald, you know. But um, but t talking about he he's a top 10 quarterback, who is he better than? Aaron Rodgers? No. You got Tom Brady. Um, who else we got out there? Uh, you no, know, I mean... Who uh, Panthers got? He better than Sam Darnold. The Saints, that's debatable. Um, Carolina, Tampa Bay, the Saints. She, who else? Who else in the NFC South? Should I be forgetting, dude? Tampa, New Orleans, Pan or oh, the Falcons. He better than the Matt than Matt uh, Ryan. Sorry, yes, yeah, but uh, is he better than Watson? I mean, uh, what's that boy name? Uh, Prescott? No. He better than Danny Dimes. He better than Hurts right now. Um, he better than Fitzpatrick, that's true. But you go to NFC West, is he better than Russell? No. Is he better than um, Jimmy Garoppolo? That's debatable. But is he better than um, Tyler Murray? No, that's five right there. You go in there with Lamar Jackson? No. Is he better than Baker right now? No, that's seven. I would rather take Joe Burrows over him. That's eight for me, but let's just say seven. Deshaun Watson, he's still a player. Eight, no. Uh, Carson Wentz, is he better than him? I'll give it to him. Trevor Lawrence, he better than him. Ryan Telling Hill, no, that's nine. Go down to the NFC East, he better than Tua, he better than uh, Cam Newton, he better than whoever the Jets were, but Zach Wilson, he better than Josh Allen, no, that's 10. <laughs> so we go Patrick Mahomes, no, 11. Derek Carr, no, 12. Justin Herbert right now, 13. We could have Herbert. No, he ain't better than none of them. Ain't no nan, 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 so. Name about 13 quarterbacks he for sure not better than. Come on, most people think Kirk Cousins is better than him. So, come on. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. So, I mean, like I said before, everybody gonna have their opinion about the guy. But he ain't one of the 10 best quarterbacks. But we see maybe in a better situation. But the thing is, if it ain't Detroit, because it's a good chance it was, if it ain't Detroit, he on ball, you know, I want I want apologies. But what's the chance of Stafford falling in L.A. and to Jared Goff rise in Detroit? Slim to none. Slim to none. So, I mean, you know, Detroit's the problem. Detroit's the problem. He was doing the same ish in Georgia. People forget that. The same thing in Georgia. He just ain't, he just not a primetime player. You know, Peyton Manning wasn't like a, a playoff primetime player, but you know what? He was way more gifted than Stafford. Way more gifted than Stafford. So that that was, a, you know, and then Stafford started, oh, remember, people forget this, Stafford started opening his mouth, about four, four, five, six, whatever it was, three. And remember the people was like, when Stafford was struggling, he needed to get a quarterback guru. He needed to get a quarterback guru. And he was saying, no, he just sounded like a freaking idiot. Not no indictment on, I'm not just speaking the truth. No indictment on him as a man. But I'm just, you know, we I'm just speaking the truth. And he starts sounding stupider and stupider. And, you know, he can't read defense. Remember, people was trying to figure out, was trying to find out he can't read defenses. And a huge portion of what's going on in Detroit not, was his fault. Because people forget he, they was running the ball that year. You know, the year that, you know, they made the playoffs. They had a good defense. Him and Golden Tate couldn't put no points. He had Calvin Johnson that year too, right? They couldn't put no points up. People forget that. People, St Stafford couldn't put enough points up for us to win that game. But then again, it's, man, he had a defense. He Maybe he didn't have the greatest running game, but you had one of the greatest receivers of all time, Megatron. The Megatron. But everybody going to have their opinion. Well, we got to see how it play out. You know, if he ball out, credit to him. But y'all shouldn't be Verlander him hoping he, he ball out. Because remember, our draft pick is tied to him. But... If he do, credit to him. Credit to him. Berlander actually won something in Detroit. He won the pennant. He won the pennant. That's just a fact. Did Matthew Stafford win something in Detroit? Not even close. He didn't win a playoff game. We're going to see because that division is rough. 
49ers, Seahawks. Um, who else you got in that division? Cardinals, because they ain't bullshitting. They ain't, they ain't playing with you. Arizona ain't playing with you. You know, they ain't play Chicago. I think they had Soldier Field. So, we shall see. So, but hey, let me know what you guys think. Check out Detroit Lions Talk playlist. Don't forget me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. You can reach out if you have a business question, inquiry, response, your video class, so social media, subscription, reach out anytime. Uh, if you want to advertise, whatever you want to do. If you want to make a financial donation, Cash App, CJ Good313. That's in the description. PayPal link there as well, too. Best way to donate, share, share the video. If you haven't, share the video, subscribe, thumbs up the video. Peace.